Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Welcome. New view. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we are um, coming to you live from a different location. And we're going to be making this box. It's hard for me to see because I'm you're, sitting down. As long as you're in. Right here? Yep. Then you should be good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Hello. Hi. So we're, we should be live. Um, if we're having issues, but I think I could see Melanie's with us, Kathy is with us. Hi Welcome guys. everyone. Sorry we're a little late. Um, what we were doing was taking a little bit longer than we were expecting, so <laughs> we were like, oh shoot, we need like 30 more minutes and we'll be good. And so now we're here. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? How's it going? Hi, Kathy. Hi, John. I'm going to move this over just a smidge. Okay. There we go. Hi, Roxanne. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. We are so happy to be here with you guys. Um, it's been a while since we have been on a Friday night, so we're just a little out of sorts. So um, bear with us. But uh, we're going to be making this box. Um, we showed you a preview of it earlier this week on Tuesday and um, made this. Um, we showed oh, you a preview sorry. of it earlier. <laughs> Trying to pull up the video. Okay. <laughs> the the uh, preview we had on this, uh, we got this Market Peach from Bath and Body Works and um, it's really peachy so if you love peach you're going to love this but um, this is a cute little milk box that we made uh, and we're going to show you step by step how to do this. See if I can remember, refresh my mind from earlier. I think I made this last weekend. And um, I brought all my inks except the ink that I used on here for the green um, was Pear Pizzazz. And I've only got these three inks with me. So we can do, we'll stamp on a piece of paper and see what these look like. Um, maybe the evening evergreen. If I stamp it off once, maybe it'll show up. Oh my gosh. Like. To, okay. to be what they... <laughs> to see. Now I'm confused because I was okay. talking over there and now I'm talking over here. Now we shouldn't do it again. <laughs> anyway, we're going to figure that out, um, what we're going to do for green. But for the stamping of these peaches, we're going to be using the Calypso Coral and the Pale Papaya. Um, you're going to need two daubers. I have one that is for Calypso Coral and one that is for the Pale Papaya. We're going to be actually dabbing it onto the stamp itself. And uh, it's going to give us that ombre kind of thicker dimension on here. And actually, I think what I'll do is instead of um, using the Pale Papaya, there's a indigo hair on there. <laughs> no surprise. Um, we're going to stamp the whole thing in pale papaya and just add the calypso coral onto it. So we have not cut anything, but basically these are going to be your dimensions. Oh, and I don't got my glasses. Do you need I have my sunglasses. <laughs> you got to need your actual glasses. Yeah, I do. They're right up over there. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, no problem. Um, all right. So the piece of pale papaya you're going to need it to be six and a half by seven and a half which I have it right here okay let me clean my glasses on the six and a half side which is going to be the shorter you're going to score at one and a half three four and a half and six and then on the longer side you're going to score at that, which would be the seven and a half. It would be one and a half, six, and then you flip it, and then you would score at seven. And we're also going to be doing additional little score ma marks right here down to the very first score line over here. And we'll do this again. We'll walk you through it. Um, we're going to score down just to the first score line at two and a quarter, five and a quarter. And then we're going to take our take your pick tool and we're gonna uh, score from that score line from that point to this point that point to this point and the same over here um, the middle point to the corner middle point to the corner and what that does is it helps when you fold in your box it'll help create those little indents and it's not going to do it here but it, it creates this little side right here Okay, so I hope I brought my eighth of an inch um, 
eighth of an inch hand punch. Okay, so um, I think what we're going to do is I actually don't have the score or the measurements for our pieces here. So let me get that really quick. I'm out of sorts here. Do you see my ruler? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. Okay, thank you. Because sure. I had all these measurements written down, but our designer series paper is going to be one. I'm going to write that down. Do, 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 do we have a pen? Anybody have a pen? We don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? I have a pencil? Uh, that's There's not one? sharpened. Oh. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> it's literally not yeah, sharpened. It's not sharpened. Why do you have it in there then? I, um, to. Oh, a race? I, no, I like to use this end, but somebody used it. Chew on to, it? To do oh. dots. Oh. Yeah, and somebody used it for its actual purpose. Imagine mm. that. Okay, so. This is going to measure one and three eighths. I'm going to write this on here, DSP. One and three eighths. Actually, I think I have this written down on our blog post. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a blog post ready for this about a half hour after we're done here. All we need to do is add our video link in. So, all right. So this is going to be four and three eighths four and three eighths and we need four pieces of that okay then we're gonna need two pieces that measure one and three eighths again and then I think this is seven eighths if I'm not mistaken yes seven eighths by one and three eighths you need two pieces of those okay and then you're gonna need probably I don't know um, I just used a piece of Whisper White, and this is uh, four inch by five and a quarter. And then you should be able to stamp all your images onto that one piece and do your die cutting at that time. We're gonna be using the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and we're gonna be using our peach dies. We're gonna be using the three circles here. And then what I, I did is I stamped some of these leaves and punch them out or die cut them out here so all right here we go we are going to start with our designer series paper because i didn't grab my pale papaya which i think kayla might do for me uh bernie said no punch use the pokey tool just don't poke your hand yeah <laughs> yeah i mean add it to all the little war wounds i have from the kitty yeah hi jill uh, Jenny said, I love the peach tones in this paper. I know, okay. it's so pretty. You need the pale papaya what? Um, a sheet of pale papaya. Oh, cardstock. Yes, please. Okay, so on here, we are using the, pa uh, the paper that has the teeny tiny um, pears, and that would be absolutely adorable, too, on here. Hmm, maybe we might have to try the back side. I don't know, guys. Oh well, we'll try this side. All right, so first off, we're gonna cut our designer series paper. I'm actually gonna cut um, one and three eighths, because that's how wide. One, two, and three. I don't right have a full there. sheet. I have this. Oh, in the middle, I have all the full sheets. But this might work actually, honey. Okay. This should work. Yeah, this is big enough. Okay, so here we go. That's one and three eighths. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my smaller pieces first while I have this big one. We need a piece that measures by seven and eighths. So there's one. And here will be our second one. Now I like to use this side when I have teeny tiny pieces. Just seems to work a little bit better for me. All right, now on this side, since this is one and three eighths, we are going to cut the lengthwise to four and three eighths. And another one. One, two, and three. You guys have to excuse my nails. I uh, definitely need to get my nails redone. Or repainted, they're looking kinda icky. One, two, and three, so one and three eighths. And we just need two more. 
for our side pieces. Am I in camera? Yep. Okay, good. Two and three. And one more. One, two, and three. Hey, Holly. Hi, Carol. Okay, so we have the designer series paper. Um, oh, actually, Kayla did get me a uh, eight and a half by five and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my trimmer, and we're going to cut this at seven and a half, which is right about there. Oops. And then we're going to turn it this way and cut at six and a half. Oops. And I just moved it. Hold on one moment. Okay, so there we have it. So now on the, let me see here, which one do I want to do first? Okay, so we're going to leave it on the six and a half inch side. We're going to score at one and a half. Three, I'm trying not to shake the table too much, guys. And four and a half. And six. All right, now we're going to flip it. We're going to do one and a half again. Or not flip it, just turn it. Okay. Then we're going to go all the way down to six. And we're going to take and open this up. We're going to flip it over and we're going to score at seven. All right. And there we have it. So now on this side here where you have the little bit of the quarter, the quarter inches or is that a half <laughs> <The> inch, <laughs> it's a quarter inch or is it a half inch? It's a half inch. I'm sorry. So you have this little tab right here where it has the half inch. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it back over and we're going to line it up at the two and a quarter mark, which is right here. And then we're going to take our scoring blade and we're only going to score down to that first line, which should be approximately the half inch mark. If I'm not mistaken, and I think I did okay on that, doing this from the side view. Oh, you know what? That didn't work. Hold on. Back it up. Back it up. Okay. So, when I flipped it back over, I actually did it from the wrong side, so I apologize. You're going to want to score on the side that doesn't have the half inch piece on this side. So, when you line it up, your half inch piece is going to be on your right side. And then you're going to line it up to your two and a quarter mark and do the one and a half. Or not the one and a half score down to the first line. Wow. Wow. You're a mess. I am. I think I need to have a beer. Oh, good thing you have one right <laughs> next to you. Boy, I should have started drinking earlier. <laughs> okay, so again, the half inch piece over here. You're going to line it up at the two and a quarter inch here and put your first score line down here. Down the half inch, down to the first line. <laughs> <sighs> Jill goes, where are you guys heading up from the law? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? Don't tell them where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to line it up at the five and a quarter mark. Again, score down to the first score line, which is your half inch. Okay, so we have that one and that one there. And that should be it. Next, I am going to grab, do I have my little padded friend down there? No. Oh, I thought I did. No. I could go look for it. I could have sworn I grabbed it. Okay. Um, That's okay. I just need a ruler, which I just had a few seconds ago. It's clear, and I tend to lose it real quick, like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, oh, you found it. Okay. This is easier for me if I have it on the pad. That score line that we just did at the two and a quarter mark and the five and a quarter mark, 
we're going to take our score point and bring draw a line down to the corner from this middle piece here. God, does that make sense? Probably not. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to make a little triangle starting at that midpoint all the way down to the corner. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's helpful when you hold it up. And I can't see what I'm doing in the camera, so hopefully that might help a little bit. So basically you're drawing your triangle here from this line we did, the score line, each corner and making that little pyramid. Okay, we're <laughs> going to do it again over here. I can't, I have to like keep refreshing the page to see comments, but I saw Bernie commented like, new craft series, <laughs> drunk crafting. Oh hey, wouldn't that be fun? With Nancy, or Nancy and Kay, I've never, never used real names. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> And there we have it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do our burnishing. I wish. Caroline, she goes, has, has the heat gotten to you, girls? I think so, Honestly. holy, <laughs> wow. A Little bit out of practice here. All right, so now we're just gonna go through and give all our score lines a good burnish. And down the middle. And this side. Now what I did, um, yep, I think that's good. All right, now these are going to go in. Just going to kind of get them started, but you don't really need to do this part, but I like to just to soften it up a little bit where that little triangle is. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut on our score lines. All right. Snip, snip. Snippity snip snap. <laughs> so this is what your template should look like. I'm going to go ahead and cut this little corner off right here. Just kind of take that little wedge out of the corner, like we're right in the corners. And then we're going to cut this whole little tab off right here and cut straight up like so. All right. And then we're going to wedge or do our mitering. mitering. Wow. I it know. It's just so great on you. Oh, I know, right? It works so wonderful. All right. We're going to cut straight up on all four of these. This is going to create our bottom. Okay. And one. All right. So now on the first tab over here, we're going to just cut about half of it off. We're going to spit this one, so I tuck it under, and tuck this other one under, and we're going to cut that one off as well. Okay? So now your box should look like that. All right. Off with that. We are ready to add our designer series paper. Off with the head. Off with the head. And hopefully this stuff will work and cooperate with me tonight. Because, you know, as soon as you go live, things tend to go wrong. They always go wrong. They really do. Yep. Yep. That's going to happen. Here's another one. She has to take a drink of beer. <laughs> My mouth is thirsty. Your mouth is thirsty, not you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it got a little dry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This one's a little better. There. Perfect. All right. So... Now i got to figure out which way this paper goes. I think it goes this way. We're just going to go ahead and lay these on. It's much easier to do this when the paper is flat. And not when it's a three-dimensional item. Trust me. I've done it before. It's like you know from experience. I know, right? Okay, yep. Yep, that tape is not yep. behaving. Well, and I think it was sitting in the warm camper, too. I don't know. Who knows? And here we go. And we got two more pieces. Now, definitely you want to pay attention to your pattern if it's directional. I don't think it matters too much on this particular one. I mean, most peaches, when they grow, they kind of hang down. But okay, come on, you can do it. 
Yeah, Brene, she said, I'm going to have to get that spray. I love anything peach. It, it seriously, it's... it smells like, mom, mom sprayed it when we got it, and I walked into the room, and I'm like, when did, hey, did we talk about this? We talked I about this. I think we this. did, yeah. I was like, when did you get peaches? I don't remember going to the store and getting peaches. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, what? wow, this one's really off. Um, it, it, it smells like someone is eating a, a peach, a right, peach yeah. right there. They just freshly cut it, and it's crazy. Like, you know when somebody uh, peels an orange and it automatically smells like oranges? Mm -hmm. Like, that smells like a legitimate peach. <laughs> yeah, it's really good if you're peach lovers, for sure. All right, and this last one here. Doo -doo -doo. Well, we hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. So far, ours has been going great. What, what are your plans for the weekend? We're going to hang out in the sun and relax. These two smaller pieces go on the, the ones that don't have our triangles on them. Okay. So one will be for the front and one will be for the back. Okay. And this designer series called, is called... Sweet as peach? Sweet. You're a peach, I think. You're a peach. You're a peach. You're a peach. The sweet as a peach is the bundle name. Are you sure? Yeah. Hi, Charlie. Because I'm not sure. Hi, Charlie. Oh, it's Charlie boy. Charlie boy. Charlie Hi. boy. He's such a good boy. Oh, oh, he just yelled at me. Wow. You wow. got yelled at. He's like, Mom, I don't want to sit on your lap right now. Okay, so now that we have this together, we are ready to assemble. Now, the first thing that I did is I've put tape on the side here on this on this teeny tiny piece. Now, you can always use your tear and tape, your glue. Um, this stuff works pretty good, the regular stuff. Otherwise, we've got the other one that I don't think I have handy. The other one is our Stamp and Seal Plus. It's wonderful. It comes in little slitted, sliced pieces, slotted pieces. How do you say that? They're little slitted. Like they're scored. Or yeah, like yeah. So they separated. come out in tiny little pieces, but they work. It works really good for three D projects. So now I'm basically just gonna lay that one down. Take my other edge and just lay it flat down on that. And give it a good press and give it a few seconds here to warm it up. Carol said she's going to take a ride somewhere tomorrow. Where are you going? What kind mm. of ride? A motorcycle ride? Nice. Okay, so now we're going to decide if we want this side to be our front or if we want this side to be our front. And usually this is where our edges meet you kind of want those usually in the back it just depends on how well you get your box together this one you can't really see the edges so that's good we'll just leave it this way um, this is going to be our last piece since this is the front of the box we're going to put this taped last all right so we're going to put these here for the inside and then i'm going to put some tape on the on the inside of this back piece, I guess you could call it. Alright, and then I bring these up and I just lay it down as square as I can. Okay, and that's going to sit there. It may not be fully adhesed yet. Adhesed. Adhesed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> and the thing is, is you should be using the Stampin' Seal Plus for this. I do, but I don't have it. Yeah, so, and that's what I was explaining, that okay. you can use that one. It's best for 3D items, but this stuff still does really good, the regular. Okay, so we have that on there. Now what you can do, you can take one of your tools and press down on the inside, or you could actually take and put your item and give it a press, turn it around, and such forth. Now, all you have to do is give it a gentle press in, and look at that. We have our box. Isn't that cool? All right, so I need Miss Kayla to go see if she can look in that toolbox and see if I brought our um, one-ink 
one eighth hand punch one hole. Eighth yep. Inch hand punch. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to set this aside because we're actually going to start um, doing our stamping. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen, Abby, can you hand me that, um, yeah, that paper right there. Paper? Yes, thank you, my dear. Appreciate and it. And here's the punch. Yay, there it is. Okay, so this right here is our 2021 20, 23 color, in color shimmer vellum. Love it. Use that on the back side right here. And look at that. Look at how shiny that is, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. And the shimmer doesn't come off. It just, it's, oh, it's gorgeous. It sticks on there. It stays on there. I love it. So we need to get out a piece. It comes in 12 by 12 pieces. Get this out. So we have our sage color right here. Soft sage? Just, no. Soft succulent. Soft succulent. Why, Why? did I get to sage? I don't know. <laughs> Soft succulent, polished polish pink, pink, evening evergreen, yep. fresh freesia, 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 <laughs> and pale papaya. Pale papaya is actually my favorite one out of everything. Pale papaya is my favorite. You get two of each in color. And seriously, this will last you a while, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Love it. I am just going to cut off a small piece. Whoops. Just big enough for this back piece right there so maybe about a two to three inch piece now you can hand cut it but i'm just going to take a strip off of here probably work the best oops good board having issues here all right there we go do that i'm just going to turn actually i'm going to get my die out <clears throat> Since we're using our Stitch So Sweetly dies, I want to make sure this is the piece. We're using the second, and I think this might work. Yep, that'll be big enough. So I'm going to do this by about two and a half inches, just to give enough little wiggle room. Okay, because I am going to have Miss Kayla die these Cut these pieces out for me. Dye them out. Dye them I out. Can dye die them cut out. out. Die cut them out. Are you sure you don't want me to dye them? Well, out? you could. I don't know how that would work, but you know, <laughs> everything's good. All right, we are going to be using this dye right here. That's going to have our three peaches, and we're also going to be using some of these little tiny leaves. Now, when I did use these, a few of them are going to line up really well and a few of them don't. However, that's okay because when you're looking at the box, see this one didn't line up quite as well as I was hoping, nor did this one, but you can't tell. It's so cool, I love it. Okay, so we have that. Wow, Terry said she has her grandbaby tomorrow and she's dog sitting a pup, so she'll have three dogs. She's planning Whoa. on total chaos. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a handful. Okay. Do -do. Kathy said she just used the vellum she got from her paper share that she participated in front with us. Oh, and she nice. Says it's so beautiful. Isn't it? It, is, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do justice seeing it online. Exactly. You have to see it in person. Exactly. All right, so we're going to take this. And you know what? I didn't bring my regular D block, I guess. Jenny says she's alone, home alone for two days. She's looking forward to blasting music and doing whatever the heck she wants. Nice. Yes. You can't go wrong there. Okay, yeah, because this isn't going to fit on here. I don't know why I grabbed the big blocks. Of course. So it goes. All right, so we're going to take our pale papaya and our calypso coral. Just going to move these out of the way. And I'm actually... Just going to use our dauber for the Calypso Coral. I'm going to take the whole stamp and stamp the whole peach all in the pale papaya. Get that inked. And then we're going to take our dauber, get a little bit of that Calypso Coral, and just dab on to the edges. Now, you got to be careful when you do this. If you, you bounce up and down, 
because what can happen is you could drag it and then you're going to have a smudged peach. Trust we don't me. want a smudge peach. Trust me, I've done it before and it looks kind of funny. So I'm just dabbing a couple of these on the outside. You want to make sure you leave a little bit of that peach or the pale papaya to show through. And if you're afraid that your ink has dried, it, it should have enough time. But if not, you can huff it. Where you put it up to your mouth and you go. <laughs> and you breathe really hard on it. Yeah. And that just kind of moistens it. Don't actually it. lick it. Don't lick it. Yeah. It's just huffing. <laughs> okay, Kayla knows from experience. No, I don't. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. So now we have that. We're going to take this branch piece. And this is where we're going to kind of experiment. The branch piece is right here. And I think it's meant to go with these three flowers. Or you could do your three peaches stamped in these sections right here. Which will work perfect. Alright. Now we're going to experiment. What green do you think we should do? Just jade, I think. What green did you use before? It's a pair of pizzazz, but I don't have it with. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of boned. Dang. Evening evergreen, just jade, granny I apple. Just jade. Or granny. Just jade might. Is it going to work with the paper, though? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, you know what we could do? Oh, yeah. No, nope, that's not going to work. I don't have another dauber with me. Otherwise, I would do that. <laughs> Guys, look at my hand. It's all, like, cut up. Do you I see know. this? Look at that. The dang cat. <laughs> my hands are so dry from washing, but oof. It's so bad. I think we'll stick with Granny Apple. I think that's about <laughs> as close as we're going to get. Stacy said, good one, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. And now we got a Nancy hair on there. Wow, <laughs> seriously. I think us humans shed more than the cats. All right, so we're going to give this a whirl. I'm going to just put this anywhere. We'll let it sit there for a second. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to turn it over real quick and kind of stamp on the same side and see what the second gen looks like. And second generation stamping is exactly that. Not re-inking. Yeah. That looks kind of funny. That's a really inky granny apple green. I like the granny apple. Yeah. It's really inky though. Yeah. It doesn't show much detail, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. We're going to go with it. All right, guys. So the my first version, we used a uh, pear pizzazz for the green. I don't even have old olive with. What is a matter with me? Because that would have been a good color too. That would have been a good option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, Miss Kayla Corey, mm -hmm. we're going to need your assistance cutting this out on here. Then this one. And I don't think I have my post-it notes with. That's okay. I'll figure and, it out. Yeah. And then these, I just kind of lined up wherever. I think I had one lined up as best as I possibly could somewhere. And then put these other ones wherever you think is best. Okay. On those. Okay, and then I will work on the holes for this. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's a little challenging to get this through four. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, two, four. Yeah, it's, it's a little challenging, but we're going to give it a whirl. I might have to bring my son over here and help me with his strong hands. Muscle man. My muscle boy. Um, I went in about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, three-fourths of an inch. And I'm using one-eighth of a hole puncher. And I'm going to squeeze. Ooh, look at that. That worked. Gently pull it out. And there we have our hole. Wow. Okay. I'm so, surprised. I know, right? Now the second one. How the heck do you get the ribbon through that tiny it's hole? Very, very carefully because oh, that's another thing. Oh, Charlie. I need ribbon too, and I'm just gonna put this in here. 
Oh my gosh, that works so good. Wow. Wow, I must have gained muscles from the last time because <laughs> I'm telling you, I had a Dickens of a time. The Dickens. A Dickens of a time. You could see where I initially tried punching right there and it just wasn't working. I don't know what the deal was. Um, Die, lady? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. sorry. I'm trying to multitask and comment. Okay, and... got it. All right, I was just making sure. I was just reminding. All right, so next, Abigail. It's going to be my assistant. I need uh, I need your help finding this ribbon right here. It's pale papaya and white. Really? And it's in there, back there. Okay. All right. So now we have... Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just waiting. <laughs> so. This is really hard to do. I'm not going to lie. Like this. Do you want me to try it on... I can try it up here, but we might shake the camera quite no, a bit. No, I got it. I got it. Just the leaves. Why did you choose something so intricate, huh? I know, right? I like to make things complicated. Another thing we could do, Kayla, mm -hmm. we could use our designer series paper, if you don't have the ink color like we don't, and you could lay the little dies on top of here. That would work out really good, oh, too. Oh, I messed up your peaches. They moved. They did. Oh, you little booger. My bad. Okay, that's all right. Don't worry. You can just take your scissors We're just going to cut around them, yep. and that's okay. Here's that All right, you. thank you. Oh, you know what else I need? What? I need one more piece, and that is a very important piece because we need to stamp on that piece. And... That piece is going to be right here, this middle one. So we use the bigger one here. Don't use up all the white because we need to get a little piece out with this one, please. Thank you. Oh, with white? Yes, please. Okay. Um, you should have room. Why? How many leaves am I cutting out? Well, three? you just one, two, oh. three, four. Okay, let me see them. So okay. I, can... I think two of them are attached. All right, so since this moved, no biggie, we're just going to cut around it. And I do like fussy cutting. I find it kind of relaxing in a way. However, is did I not include that ribbon? I don't think you did. Oh, great. <laughs> This is why you don't travel and craft. Don't travel and craft. This is our first time doing it, so thanks for hanging out with yes. us. Yes. No, it's fine. I'll go. I'll go look. Or get me peach. I'll I don't go. care. The pe uh, pear pizzazz. Pear pizzazz. There is no pear pizzazz. These are Pale like papaya. the crappiest leaves I have ever seen. Wow! Look at you go, girl. All right, look at that. No, nope, but this will work, Kayla. Don't worry. <clears throat> All right, we got it. We're just going to see. We didn't bring post-it notes. So now this is what happens when Nancy doesn't get to pack the whole house and the kitchen sink, too. I always forget something. She forgets everything. Yeah, so when I go, when I when we do retreats, you know, when we go do them with our friends and everything, I bring everything because I know I'm going to need it. I was trying to be frugal this time, and it obviously did not work out very well. And we still didn't have enough room in the car. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> so funny, you guys. Yeah, and then we had to find room for the little itty-bitty itty, itty bitty kitty, because we don't quite trust him home alone with the big boys yet. Because, you know, he's still little, and he likes to chew on things. All right, so we're going to take out our Calypso Coral ink. We're going to stamp our Sweet as a Peach on the front of that. And da, 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 da. I'm going to use this one. I think this should work. All right. Sweet. Sweet as a Peach. Put that down. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited that it's Friday. It's been kind of one Sorry. of those weeks. I'm not talking a lot because I got sores in my mouth. Yeah, I feel like she just abandoned us, you guys. I did not. I'm just wow. sitting here. <laughs> Vicky Telling goes, yes, you. and we love that you bring everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because everybody knows me well enough that... We're in a cam we're in a camper, so... Okay. We'll, we'll post pictures. Does that look good? That... Does that line up? I okay. can't see. On there? I 
I can't see anything. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing? No, I can see what you're doing. But, but that's I, why I'm asking. I can't tell you if it's lined up. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can see, but you can't see. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just going to go with it, you guys, because that's that's just how we're going to roll tonight, I guess. The ink's drying. You got to do it. All right. Look at that. Pretty nice. good. We'll Usually, take a picture of everything to show you the mess that mom made. That I made. Oh, yeah. You, you did. I do this make a you. nice mess. All right, so we have this. We're going to put it on here. We got our little peaches and our little leaves. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Kayla. How about that ribbon? Oh, there is no ribbon. <laughs> There's got to be something. Uh, I bet you you can find the pale papaya. I bet you. I think I brought something, you know, who knows. I'm actually gonna finish designing our strawberry class. And uh, so I think I was mostly concentrating on all of that stuff versus the peach. And I should have been paying attention to the peach one because that was actually the one we're doing right now. All right, so we're gonna just put this direct, <laughs> somebody's gonna come over here. Um. Oh, oh dear, the cat. <laughs> he's, cli <laughs> he's, he's climbing the walls. <laughs> he's a mountaineer. I have this crinkle little ribbon, but that's it. Seriously? Yeah, you didn't pack anything. Oh, wow, that's funny. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do a white ribbon on this one, guys. So, um, to get the actual, we do have pictures of this one online. So, when we post that um, shortly after we're done with this video... Um, you'll be able to see that. All right, so now what I did with these leaves is I used glue dots to adhere them on to the back of the peach. And... Okay, as Stacy said, did you show the kitty yet? Can you please show him again? <laughs> uh, if we can we'll try. Him. <laughs> we will try and do that. Yeah, he's actually grown um, since, we got him. since we got him, which is awesome. Um, my dad noticed that he, yeah, he's almost has doubled his size in two weeks in two weeks so that's good all he's right he's a little over two pounds now we'll and show him at the end. yeah he he oh he's such a doll carol said my husband wants to get a camper but no idea what kind oh yeah we're we're, we're looking to get a new one so and we've got a couple of them in mind i guess we do know what we want it's just deciding who has it and all that kind of fun stuff <clears throat> again I took a glue dot and put it right on and put it right behind our saying like that then on um, oh that's not my glue dots you guys I am going to buddy put him down he see he's got an attitude he's got a total he's attitude. got a major attitude just like his mom <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so funny we give her so much grief it's like nice cat Kayla all right took that and glued it right directly on the back of it again I'm actually gonna take and put some of this uh, stamp and seal on the back because majority of this oh wow this is gonna be a little booger yeah guys see as soon as you get online all right glue dot it is everything goes to heck <laughs> yeah it does it's so funny how that works all right so now we're going to put this one off on the side like so turn that a little bit and again glue dot and glue dot here's one we're going to use for our leaf and we're going to take our peach that on there and last but not least we're going to put another glue dot directly on and there you have it so there we have our little sign now comes the best part my little dimensionals love my dimensionals you guys I have so many half used packages around here all right, so now, since our box is only that wide, I'm not gonna put any dimensions on the outside pieces because that's gonna hang over. So we're just basically gonna concentrate in the middle. 
All right, and I try to keep it behind this white um, label that we put on the front because you can see them behind um, where there's no peach on the front. So you just want to keep that in mind. Put one over here. Man, I think I went to town on these when I was making the other one. I had quite a few of them the on here. Dimensional yeah, on. yeah. I just kept kept on putting them on. I don't know. I was my mind was wandering and. <laughs> All right. I honestly would not have been surprised. Okay, so I guess we got six on here. <laughs> oh, seven, actually. Jeez. I had six on there before I laid my last one down. All right, so we got seven on there. This ain't going nowhere, guys. Just saying. All right. Now, if you had the same ribbon as this one right here, um, what I did, I'm going to stand this up for now just so I can see where I'm putting this still kind of got it off but that's all right um if you cut your ribbon kind of at a point at an angle then you're able to just squish it down and pull it through both both sides um i had no problem getting this through and actually this ribbon turned out kind of cute for for me <laughs> i think anyhow all right so on to this crinkled seam binding ribbon this is our white well, it says Whisper White. I wonder if the new one says just Basic White on it. Interesting. I'm sure it probably says Basic White. I don't know because Would it, it maybe has the tones of Whisper White in it. Mm, could be. Who knows? If you know that one, guys, let us know. I'd be interested. Because, of course, you know, I buy tons of ribbon, stock up on it, and they changed the name of Whisper White to Basic White. I mean, it wasn't just the name. Well, yeah, they changed everything manufacturer and all that kind of fun and stuff the tones in it. yeah all right so now with this we're just going to thread it through <laughs> watch this be the most difficult piece here <laughs> <laughs> you think the smaller the ribbon the better but eh, that's, sometimes that's not as good no it's not uh -uh. all right and oh look at that i already got a point on that one and i didn't even try it was meant to be. Alrighty. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. I believe in you. I believe in you. Alright. And you can always take a Stampin' Blend and color this ribbon if you wanted to. You could, but guess what? We didn't bring them, so I can't do that no, for you. No, that's why I, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you for... Uh, Carol asked, what is, the, what is in the box again? It is... Oh, yeah. Let me take it out. So you guys can see. Play. Yeah, Kathleen said she would color the ribbon. The yes, blend. absolutely. Hi, Lisa. All right, I'm going to fit this out. So, yes, it is the Market Peach. Any of the White Barn um, room sprays that you get from Bath & Body Works will work in this size box here. And, um, yeah, the milk curtain. Why am I having issues? Um, I think it's because I don't have a solid why. thing in there to... Oh, yeah, okay, down. I'm going to put this back in here because it works easier for me. To tie it? <laughs> to tie it. I could have pulled the box for you. Oh, yeah, you could have. <laughs> Use your resources, Nancy. I know, I forget. You're my helper when it comes to tying bows. I'm getting better, and I don't, it just depends on the ribbon. Oh, actually, this is really cute, you guys. I'm going to make this be a really floppy-eared one. Carol says she loves Bath and Body. Lisa said, did she miss the kitty? No, not yet. We showed him last week, but we'll show him again. Absolutely. Um, try to. Try to, anyhow. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Last but not least, we have bling over there that Miss Kayla's going to grab for me. <laughs> I'm just grabbing everything She's going to grab you. everything. Now, on here, we used um, the Jenny L. Gems, and they come in. Here we go. Here we go. They come in a pack. You get the gold and I don't know what color these are. It doesn't tell you, I don't think. It might. Anyway, you get the two colors. Lots of glitter on the inside. It's a gold glitter. And we use the peachy one or the gold one on this one. You <laughs> could also... The colors are mint macaron and pale papaya. Thank you. Yeah. You could possibly use this because I think this is supposed to be the in colors. 
um, but I think this one seemed too yellow for me to put on there, but these gems are absolutely beautiful. They're the in color ones, and they should be coming in any time. You could use your basic pearls on these. You can color them or just leave them as is on, uh, on putting them on there. Um, champagne rhinestones, when you use these, they take on the color of whatever project you have. Um, Honestly, well, they're I mean, amazing. With the orangey tones, yeah. Yep, with more of the orangey tones. Um, even some of the pinks, honestly. Mm -hmm. it, these are really all around they're ones. They're versatile. Very versatile, and you wouldn't think they would be, but they really are. Um, we got all kinds of gems. We got clear and silver epoxies. Again, classic ones to use. Rhinestone basic jewels. These, you just take one of your blend markers and color them in, and you got orange or green or any kind of color of rhinestone you can think of. Um, opal rounds. These would look really good on there as well. So, I think we are going to use... If I can find an open one. Doo, 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 doo. I hope we're not Hold skipping. On. Oh dear. Did someone say we're skipping? No, I just was it was taking a while for Skip it to, to my loo. <laughs> oh no. No? Okay. No. Um hmm, hmm, hmm. Well you know what guys? I don't think I have an open one. I must have used them all. Of uh champagne rhinestones. So we're just gonna open these up. I'm gonna see what this looks like on here versus the Jenny L gems. All right, we're gonna use our take your pick tool. Just gonna grab a couple of these. Now I always use the pointy end. Kayla uses the. I use the putty. She does, and that's probably what you should do. That is what you should do. <laughs> but I always have issues with it. I don't know why. It just it picks up, and then it just doesn't wanna behave. Should I put it there? Yep. yep. Okay, okay, guys, let us know which ones do you like. The one with, oh, they're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the one with the crinkled seam? I don't know, seam by the Yep, the crimp, crimp. Crinkled? Crinkled seam. Wow, that's hard to say, isn't it? Crinkled seam binding. Crinkled seam binding. Why is that so hard for me to say? I don't know. I was like, I, I don't like yeah, it. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Do you like it with this ribbon or <laughs> with the pale papaya and white ribbon? I like it with the pale papaya and white ribbon. I do. Um, And I like it with the genial gems. Yep. Personally. I do. it's more of like a peachy tone. And yep. Not as shiny. Yep. So let us know in the comments what you think. This I'm would curious. be really cool if we had our blends to color that in. Do that as a calypso coral. Then I might lean towards this one more yeah. than this one. Jill likes the white ribbon. Yep. It's cute. I like it. Yeah, they turned out really cute. It's we hope you guys cute. can use these and uh, yeah, use them as little fun little gifts to people. Housewarming gift, teacher gift. I know, well, actually, Andy's all done with school now, so summer school maybe. Summer school teachers. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's, right. I mean, that's what we got for you. We do, and um, I do believe I did grab our, um... Our prize? Our data. They're in probably the room. <laughs> Thanks for telling me now. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything is in the room, you guys. That's crazy. We did bring quite a bit of stuff, but, you know, it's the way it kind of goes sometimes. Out of sorts. I didn't bring the kitchen sink this time, so Three next time... Away. What are we giving away? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. Did you bring a giveaway? I from last year was the best year stamp set or yeah, last time, yeah. But did you bring a, a giveaway for next week? Oh. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. What is it? Oh. It was the it. embossing okay, folder. It, it, I'm it. like, I know it's in there. I saw I got it. it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had oh, to think. I'm like, wait a minute here. We'll promise we'll be better <laughs> on Friday lives. We will be. This is the way first better. time we're uh, dealing with all this, so we're kind of like, ah. That's why I said on Tuesday, I'm like, bear with us. We're gonna be at a different location, but we're still gonna be here. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Um. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Yvonne said you two crack me up. Oh my gosh, we're a hot mess. I'm telling you, literally, it's hot in here. Yeah, it is hot in here. We turn the air off and it's like, whoo, it's starting to get a little toasty. Dang. Okay, so this, uh, oh, I wrote the winner down. Right here. On here. 
Because I was like, oh, I don't even know if we brought it. So, <laughs> okay, we're giving away the best year Sam set because... Um, we give a giveaway every week. Yep. And it's never been used. We Brand just new. ordered too many and so now we want to give it away. Yes, absolutely. This is current. Um, so feel free to take a look there if you don't have it. Happy Father's Day. It, Father's Day is coming up. It's a really good uh stamp set to have with multiple sentiments, all mm -hmm. that kind of hip, stuff. Hip hip hooray. Wishes we got a Christmas one in here. You did it. Yep. The world, dad. So we are giving this away to some lucky winner who interacted with our videos last week, uh, last Friday, and on Tuesday's video. So we are going to be live every Tuesday and Friday. Um, just to let you know, so they, they'll be on 5 o'clock. We yes. are having a rough week. This has been, so, yeah. Well, Tuesdays will be at 5 o'clock, except for the second Tuesday of the month. That's 4.30 because mom has her demonstrator council meeting that she goes to. So... Um, yeah, just thanks for hanging out, hanging out with us. And hanging in and there with us. Hanging out, <laughs> hanging in, and not hanging up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hanging out, hanging in, and not hanging up. I like that. Oh, that's I funny. Like that. that was really good. That was really good. Okay. <laughs> so I got, I got our drum roll ready. Don't forget, you could shop any of the product that you're seeing in front of you on our online store, stampingbay.com forward slash shop, and you can get this on your own, but... We'll draw or ha have our winner here. So, let me get my volume up so you can at least hear the drum roll. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cheryl Randall's Merzenich. Woo! Yay, you are our winner. Cheryl. Congratulations. Make sure you send us a message. We'll send this off in the mail too. We promise we do not spam our winners. No, we just all we do is just send it out to you. Send it out to you and then we forget the address. You so you want to hang out with us from there on out? Wonderful. Go for it. Yep, absolutely. No so, obligations. No <laughs> obligation whatsoever. This is just us sharing the fun and hope you enjoy. Yeah, and if you we're not our lucky winner. Next week, we are also going to be giving away current product. It's going to be the Pretty Flowers Ooh, embossing folder. Look at that. This is really pretty. I've seen some cool things done with this embossing folder. Brand new this year, the Pretty Flowers embossing folder. You can find these in the back of the catalog. Um, I don't know the page offhand, but wow. Um, I'm already looking at this and seeing so many different things you can do with this. You can highlight a flower um, in one color, leave the rest white, you can color everything in, you can use daubers, you can use, oh, you can use so many different things on this. So, yep, yep. Lots of fun things. Yeah, so make sure that you hang out with us. If you're not already in our exclusive Facebook group, make sure that you're heading over there to hang out. We are going to post our PDF, our free PDF tutorial that we post every week. We'll post that here once we are done with Facebook Live. And we also get our face or our blog post out with measurements so that way you guys can copy this project yourselves. Absolutely. Awesome. Yay. Thank well, you. I think that's it. I think so too. I'll yeah. uh, take a picture and post. I'll also post that, I guess. Of <laughs> This one? <laughs> no, the mess that you made. Oh, the mess. Here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's it's a small little area that I'm sitting in, and yeah, if we get our different camper, ooh, boy, we could really spread out and we, have fun. We really could use, yeah, yep. We good. have lots of space to craft. <laughs> Be interesting. Okay, everyone. All right, you guys all take care. Thank you for hanging out. We look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Tuesday nights are our basic uh, quick in a hurry and updates 30, on like news. 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, the kitty. kitty. Bill, thank you. Of course, Kitty. I said that and he runs and hides. <laughs> so, are we, do you want me to hold him and you run the phone? Yeah, I can. I mean, if or, you want, or... Okay, hold on. Hold, okay. We're going to put him under here, but the people can't really see. Okay. Well, here. I'm going to give the cat to mom. I'm going to take this out here, and then you guys can actually also oh, see the mess <laughs> that she made. Oh. Look at this. This is so bad. Oh, okay. Um... But this There's is the baby. This is the baby. He's so cute. Oh, he's got something in his mouth. Oh, that's not good. A toy. Yeah. 
Why? He, he doesn't look too happy. He's like, Mom, oh my gosh. Why did you give me to her? Here, let's get that up. Yep, okay. Yep. It was a feather, a colored feather. Yeah, but he's yeah. being a he's being a aren't sassy you? boy, You're like sassy always. Sassy boy, aren't you? Oh, here comes Papa. But that's that's little Charlie, and this is the mess that Mom created all within less than an hour. So, okay, awesome. everyone. Well, thank you. Let me switch it around. Hi, hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, and we will see you on Tuesday, Tuesday. five o'clock. Bye. Bye.